Boyfriends. Uh, on the last episode, lots of feels. Lots and lots of feels. I am still getting over the the disappearance of poor little G Nakeki. Oh my gosh, that was really sad, you guys. That was really, really heart wrenching. But today, I'm going to start on what I heard was also a very sad path. I'm going to start on Ryota's rap today. Who I am going to do next, I don't know, but I'll, I'll get to all the birdies eventually. Okay, I'll start with where you meet Ryota and I'll move on from there. Lovely. Let's go. St. Pidgeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricular and facilities. Indeed it is. Lots of facilities, including one classroom. Infirmary, a hallway, a library, and a track thing? And yeah, a couple of other rooms, but yeah. It's already been a year since I entered my ordinary life and walked through these gates. If you can really call what my character... My character's life ordinary, I guess. Or I don't really believe that it was ever ordinary, per se. Especially because of her bird... The bird loving habits. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. What? This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Shock and bemusement, I did not know that. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even the sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. Lovely. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds, of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. Because of all of the hot male pigeon action. No, probably not. I'm assuming it's something... dealing with... government or something like that, I don't know. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota, are you calling me slow? You're the one who sucks at gym class. Uh. Ryota! Usually, you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Roskiro. Oh, don't you start with me, Ryota. I know exactly how to bash you in your unsportsman... the qualities. I couldn't think of a word there for a second. Overslept? Uh, overslept? <laughs> Talking to yourself again, Roskiro? Ugh. Stop reading my lines, Roskiro. Gosh. Ugh. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. So does that mean Ryota's like... Oh, we, it says we've been going to pigeon school for one year. So unless my character has been living in pigeon world all of her life, that means that Ryota's like a year old. Well, I've never dated a one-year-old before, so this should be interesting. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Neither can I, Roscoe. Neither can I. Deja vu, by the way. I think I said that the first time I played it. Li living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. Ah, I'd love it if you made me breakfast. But only if it's good breakfast, Ryota. If not, I will smack you with the back of my hand. Like a true gentleman. Smack. I might have to take you off on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Ah, uh, so we wouldn't accept any of his kindness until we're, like, literally starving to death. That puts a lot of confidence in Ryota's cooking abilities. Oh, the bell already! Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers! No good being late on the first day! Oh, jeepers. Jeepers creepers. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. <laughs> I, love the, I love just imagining the image of this tiny little bird 
<laughs> dragging this huge teenage girl into school. Well, not huge, but huge in proportion to him, I guess. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. Nothing good. Uh, so far, all I've found is your best friend Okosan turning into a pudding lord and Nageki vanishing forever. Ugh, it's depressing. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Indeed, we will. And I'm gonna cut until I get to the next scene with Ryota in it. Be right back. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Okay, so basically I just skipped a lot of stuff. Um... Ryota's route really does not rely on what club you get into since, well, Ryota doesn't join a club. Um, so I just decided to be on the library staff and we've already done the library thing. And I don't really want to remind- I don't want to read any of Nageki's lines because it'll make me sad, probably. Uh, Nageki. <laughs> but here we are in my glorious house with my sole possession, this firewood right down here. The only thing I own in the world. Ah, uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, help first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Lovely. I don't know if udon's actually healthy for you, but lovely. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Well, we will talk to a sweet little uh, Ryota, yes. Ryota, let's eat together. Yes, we can eat together in a circle of friendship with rainbows and unicorns and ponies. Ponies aren't excluded. The unicorns aren't racist, I guess. Um, and we can... And gundrops will fall from the sky. It'll be magnificent. Let's eat together. Sure. Great view, huh? Huh? Is that your lunch, Rose Kiro? Yep. It's a calorie... Uh, I believe that's calorie mate. It's a Japanese food of sorts. I actually watched somebody on YouTube called Ashens, who is a hilarious person, by the way. Look him up. Um, he reviewed some of those, and he thought they were disgusting. But then again, he probably had some stale ones, so who knows? It might be good. Who, who can really say? I've never tried one. That's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. A great man once said, it's the ambrosia of the gods. Oh, I guess Okosan must eat a lot of it. He is Lord Pudi after all. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Oh, Ryota, I've already died several times by the roadside and I was perfectly fine. Here, I'll share mine. Oh, thank you, Ryota. I'll eat all of it. <laughs> I don't believe in sharing. Really? Wow, thanks, Ryota. And so I got to eat half of Ryota's lunch. His cooking is so good. We can save the calorie meat in case of a survival situation. Yes, we can save the crappy candy bar in case we're about to be dead. Yes, in case of death. Lovely. Lovely me. Ryota's doing the three-legged race. Okosan's running the marathon, and Sakuya's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Well, I don't have to think one bit to me because we're gonna go run that freaking three-legged race even though it'll probably end horribly because we'll probably just end up dragging poor Ryota all over the ground and getting him all bloodied up and it won't be fun at all. Not for Ryota, at least. <laughs> Today's the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Victoria Calorie, and so I choose the three-legged race. Oh, are you joining us? Want to run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Yes, we can be partners, and we can run off into the sunset together. And... Yes. <laughs> I was going to say something to the allotment of we can have weird pigeon human babies or something like that what did I do what did, what did I do 
What did I do? What did I do? Did I just... Be right back. Stupid freaking keyboard always messing me up. We shall go to the three-legged race again. Uh, oh, you joining? Uh, yeah, I'm joining you. Let's run together in a field of friendship and have babies and whatnot. Okay. Get set, go. Ryota's running for us, for both of us. Wow, Ryota's the one doing the running. That, that's... Pairing up a bird and a primate might have been a bad idea. Probably. We somehow came in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. Yes, we have brought honor to them all. And Mulan references of the like. Indeed. Ah, another exam failed. Thank you, laziness. You always pull through for us. Mmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Let's go to that freaking cafeteria. So we can stop that freaking Okasan from freaking out all over the place and yeah, go save the, our little Ryota. I think I'll eat at the cafeteria today. Ah, the cafeteria and its giant chairs that no pigeon could possibly sit in. Lovely. Excuse me, one half dead fried rice, please. Yay, rice with dead things. Delicious. Yum, my favorite. Coo! No, this is wrong. A fake, a vicious lie. A familiar voice indeed. Coo! This is not pudding. I know, you said- So come on, let's eat outside. We can't horse around in here. A horse- uh, Oko-san can horse around whenever he wants. He's the lord of pudding, and he has a white steed of brilliance that he rides around, at least according to Oko-san, indeed. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. San saw the pudding here and went nuts. Well, no offense, Ryota, but he does this every day. Just saying. He's always whining about the pudding. It's, it's not perfect pudding, Ryota. It's fake. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but- Ow! Cut it out, Oko-san! He's on a rampage. Coo! Release me at once! My rage voltage is rising! Oh my gosh, he's unleashing his special attacks on me. Oh, the only way to counter is with a special attack of my own. Help me, Roskiro! Um... Leave it to me. Leave it to me, Ryota! My hunter-gatherer blood boils! Ah! <laughs> I do have special attacks. That's lovely. Coo! No, the Beast Queen shows her true colors. Pull out! Pull out! Retreat! Retreat while you still have your dignity, Okasan. Okasan rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. What? Uh, that's not... That's not a good simile. Do, do, do birds commonly put rabbits in catapults and toss them? Okay. I think we've been reading one, of too, one too many of those Suicide Bunny comics. But whatever, Roskiro. Ugh, save it last. Thanks, Roskiro. No problem. All I did was shout at him anyway. The power of shouting compels you to leave the cafeteria at once. Apparently that was good. that was enough. Now we can all eat lunch without fear of disaster. Oh, that disaster named Okosan. He's always... He's a natural disaster, that one. <laughs>